In this video, I'm going to show you the brand new features of the new Azon Top 100 Analyzer uh, version 3.0. Now you're going to find some other videos just below this uh, from previous versions and I really highly recommend watching those videos. Even though they're using earlier versions of the software, I show you a lot of really powerful and useful tips for um, using the software to make money with the Amazon affiliate program. So I do recommend watching those even though it's previous versions. So with that said here on this video I just want to concentrate more on the newer stuff but I'll sort of brush over all the main features just to get you going real quickly. So the way that this software works it goes out to Amazon and it extracts all of the um, top 100 lists. Now there's a whole bunch of different lists and I call them data sources. You can see right here in this drop down menu you've got all these different data sources. So there's the top 100 bestsellers, top 100 top rated, um, top 100 hot new releases and so on and so forth so that's what that means and these come directly from Amazon itself so what you want to do basically what this is, is you select the site that you want to extract the the items from you say for example the best sellers and then over here in the quick select you can select the um, the main category say for example baby and you can select a subcategory alternatively you don't have to select a subcategory if you want or if you'd like you can actually search all of the main categories so you can see there's a whole bunch of main categories here and you can sort you can actually extract all of them if you click that button so let's go ahead and just do this for now for the baby category and so what it's doing is it's extracting the top 100 so you always only get 100 or less um, items and it's all given from Amazon so Amazon doesn't give any more than 100 um, items for their top selling stuff so I'll show you where that is in just a minute but anyhow you can see what it does it quickly extracts out all this information you got the rank the category product ID title um, how how many days it's been in the top 100 now this is not available for all the categories only for some so that's why you see a not available here and uh, you got your list price sale price the savings the savings percentage commission you'll make the commission amount is based on four percent and um, if you're familiar, if you watch my other videos here, I'll talk about that more. But basically, uh, Amazon offers you between 4% and 8%, depending on the volume of product items you sell per month. So if you sell a certain amount, your your commission goes up for that month. So I just put the base amount, which is 4%. And that's basically how much commission you'll make if you're selling that particular product. You got the customer rating and the customer reviews. And that's what it extracts. And so you can, like I said, you can select from the uh, different websites and you can do your data sources and I'd like to show you where they're actually coming from. So if you actually bring up Amazon, or sorry, uh, Google, and just type in Amazon Best Sellers. And usually the first link that comes up will take you to the place I want to show you. And you can see here You've got all these tabs up here. And this is where the software is basically getting all this data. And so it comes in here and you're looking at the baby for the best seller category and it's grabbing all this stuff but it's kind of a nuisance to go through all this manually and, and then click the next one and then view all this and click the next one and you can't see all the numbers side by side and it just makes it very convenient to see everything in this nice data um, set. And you've added all sorts of real cool things for narrowing down your results which I like to call one-click filters. And uh, I'll just quickly demonstrate them here. Let's say, for example, you're only interested in looking at items that have a high rating. So you, along the, the top here, you'll see you can click this little drop-down and you'll get this little quick filter thing. And if I want to only want to see all the ratings above four, click that and it automatically does it for me. You can see down on the left-hand corner here, it changed from 100 to 79. And if you unclick it, it'll just removes the filter. And you can do multiple filters. Say I want to get all the reviews higher than 100. I want to get a commission more than a dollar. And boom, you have a quick list of items that you could possibly promote. And it's a good way of analyzing, you know, what products on Amazon you're going to be promoting as an affiliate. Very valuable, very um, important information to know. So this is really cool. So let me quickly show you the brand new features here and, and concentrate more on that. If you want to look at all the other features that are implemented in here, just look at the uh, previous version uh, video there and I walk you through a whole bunch of stuff. But let me just concentrate on the new stuff right now. So the, the one of the things that uh, everyone's been requesting is the ability to insert their affiliate ID 
into the software so that when the export reports, so if you save to common delimited file or save as text file, and we added a new one called the interactive HTML file, and I'll get into that in just a second. But people want to be able to have the links with their affiliate ID built into it. So I did that. In the first section here, I added this new tab called optional. And in here, you can add your affiliate ID. And you'll have to check this checkbox here in order to activate it. And let's go ahead and add one of mine. Hot and Finder 20 20 is one of my IDs. And so now that it's in there, now when I go ahead and save this data, it's going to integrate my ID into the links. You can see when you click on the link here, it goes to the actual product. But if we save this file, then it'll integrate my affiliate ID in there. So let's go ahead and save this, let's say, to a text file. Let's just save it here. And just like in the previous video, um, or sorry, in the other videos, uh, one of the new features I put in, you'll notice when you, you click the save or the open, at the very bottom you'll see this open last working folder. This is really handy because if you click that, it opens up the file explorer, or the Windows Explorer, and to the last place where you just saved that file. So it's handy so you don't have to go digging around for the file you just saved. So here's that file we just saved. And here's all the data, and you can see my hot item finder 20 tag has been added. That's my affiliate link, has been added to the product links and even the review links. So that's cool. That's one of the features you guys asked for. So that's applied to all the export. You export anything that has links in it, your affiliate link will be applied to it. Now, let me show you this export to interactive HTML file. This is pretty cool. I'm just going to remove the filters I have here by clicking the delete filters button here. And let's go ahead and you can use the button down here, export HTML export, or you can use the save as export to interactive HTML file. Same thing. Let's go and click that. And it saves it as an HTML, report.html file. Save it there. Let's go and take a look at it. Just double click that. And it creates this nice fancy report. And what you can do now with this report, you can sell this HTML file to people that want this data. A lot of people will pay good money for this information. And what's cool is this file is interactive. And what that means is you can sort it and you can search within this file. Check this out. You can actually sort by title. You can sort by any column actually. You can display as many as you want by doing this drop down here. You can page through the results. You can even do real-time search. Like, look at this. It just searches based, right when you start searching, it'll just <laughs> search for you. It's, it's so cool. Like, you want to look at stuff with diapers. These three have diapers. And if we click on the link, my affiliate link is attached to all the links in that report. So, Another thing you can do, you can give away this report to people and when they go through and click on it, if they buy something on Amazon, you're going to get commission. So we just want to integrate an additional sort of method for you to make money with and these interactive reports are really handy and they're really nice and plus if you got a little bit of HTML skill, you can actually just open up this HTML file and dress it up a little bit. Maybe you'd want to take this um, table and confine it into a uh, a static space like right now it's it it, um, it reshapes with the window sorry resizes <clears throat> you may want to not resize you can do stuff like that maybe add a picture maybe add it to a website all sorts of stuff you can do so if you got some HTML skills or you got an HTML designer or uh, someone that works for you that can do that this just gives you an additional option for making money with the software which is uh, I don't think any other tool similar to this can do that so that's pretty awesome another feature we added is this button down here, export the ASINs, the Amazon Standard Identification Numbers. Now in the software, I called it product ID. But in terms of um, you know, uh, affiliate, uh, Amazon Affiliate Marketing, ASINs is a fairly common word that people use. And that's what this number means. It's just a number that represents the product. Amazon assigns this special identification number to every single product they sell on Amazon. So what you want to do is, let's say you want to use these ASIN numbers to populate, let's say, a WordPress blog full of items that you've done some research to the software. In fact, part of Amazon 3.0, we've integrated another product, which is a WordPress plugin, 
that will sync along with the software. In fact, we called it Emasync. And if you install that plugin, you can actually export the ASIN numbers from your software just like this. Click that button and save. And now we got the ASIN number saved and we can import that all those ASIN numbers into your blog and it will extract all the information for these products and now you instantly have a blog full of fresh content from Amazon where you can promote these products and what's awesome your affiliate links are integrated into those uh, posts on your blog pretty cool but we'll provide other videos for that plugin excuse me so you can learn how to use it but we've integrated this export option it's also available up here in the drop down from the save button save ASINs to file so those are the main features I did and obviously the other main feature is I changed the look of the software a little bit you'll notice that I changed all the icons and I changed it so it looks more clean more flat more of a modern look to it it's, it's more pleasing and just like before you still have the option of selecting a, a quick select for the different um, categories and you can also do the manual select so a manual select let me just quickly show you that let's clear out the field or the data here for manual select you can click here okay let me explain something before I get into the manual select here you'll notice that you're limited to only top level um, categories and sub level categories so you're only going two levels deep and as we know Amazon I think has um, like hundreds of thousands possibly even millions of categories I know that sounds outrageous but I've done some research and I remember trying to pull those categories using software and it was unbelievable how many they had there I have, unbelievable is it impossible almost to do it in software so I came up with a different idea I've shown all this in a previous video but I'll just show you real quickly this gives you the ability to go down any level infinite number of levels to any category you want so that's that this one feature basically made the A's on top 100 analyzer uh, 10,000 times better maybe even a hundred thousand times better so what you do is you click this button here and it brings up an integrated um, web browser now you may experience some problems bringing up this integrated web browser sometimes the software will crash and uh, the reason it does that is because this web browser is actually using the Internet Explorer web engine so you have to have the Internet Explorer web, uh, web browser installed on your computer most Windows so uh, computers have it automatically installed anyways um, I personally hate the browser I, I never use it <laughs> And so it's not my, even my default browser, but it has to be installed in order for this to work. And so if you have a problem where it actually, it's kind of crashing on you and it's not working, this w Windows is not coming up, that's because there's something going on with your Internet Explorer and it's not actually anything to do with the software. So to fix that, when, what you do is you bring up Internet Explorer and clear out your cache and your history. And to do that, you'll see this little gearbox in the corner, our gear button, click that and go to Internet Options and right under browsing history click delete select all these check boxes click delete and OK and now it will delete all the internet cache and all the history and all that kind of stuff out of the browser close it and those problems shouldn't happen you just restart the software and try it again and that problem shouldn't happen okay so now that we got here and remember we're looking at the best sellers you can actually click on the categories on the left hand side here and click as deep as you want to go now when you click on it you'll notice down here that the button this button here will go grayed out you'll see let me do it uh, the digital SLR you see it grayed out then it went to um, it basically disabled and went enabled if you come to a page that's where the button is not enabled for example if you go directly to a page like this you'll see the button is not enabled that simply means you cannot extract hot items from this not hot items but um, you can't extract the top best-selling items from this page simply because well this page doesn't contain them so this button will only be active for pages that actually have the top 100 list in there so let's go back using the back button here and you'll see we're actually on a bestseller page and that's where the that's where the bot sorry the button will be enabled so now we can dig as deep as we want to go so we have dug down on several categories here and we simply once once it's all good and once this button is enabled you click OK it enters the link in here and also the category name and you simply just click start and it'll start extracting the top 100 best sellers for that particular category 
Now you may find there might be some categories you're digging down into and you actually don't get any results. And those categories are usually categories that don't really make sense as an Amazon affiliate. Now I explained this in previous videos and I keep saying this here but please go watch those other videos so you fully understand the concept here. But as an Amazon affiliate some things on Amazon just really doesn't make sense to promote. Let me give you an example. Um, uh, Kindle books. You know, when a Kindle book is like two dollars, you're going to get four percent of that as a commission. Now, let me just bring up my calculator. Four percent of of that is it's at sixteen cents, right? Or let's say you're going to promote, um, like say for example, MP3s. MP3s are like a dollar, right? You're going to get like four cents. <laughs> And if you're buying traffic, you're not going to buy traffic at, at like four cents and then try to convert it at a four cent commission. It makes no sense at all. You know, so it, there's some categories that just will not work. So if you come in here and go to bestsellers, let's go to like, like for example, like the MP3 downloads. Like right here, there's already a problem happening. This is a little script error that comes up here. Let's click yes and see if it's going to work still. Let's clear this out and let's see if it even works and again you see it's not working now and it's because it doesn't make sense you know you're not going to promote one dollar uh, mp3s to get a four cent commission I say stick to the high-end products right that's how the Amazon affiliates are making a ton of money so you can go to hot new releases and we can start doing different things let's get out of that category it seems to be causing problems there and so one thing you can notice here over here you gotta select the data source in order to bring up this window here it brings you right to the data source or you can actually just click I gotta get out of this mp3 thing here you can actually just click the different tabs up here and just manually do it in a browser and dig down as deep as you want to go and start extracting what you want and what's cool is you can extract your top 100 here And then you can go ahead and extract more if you'd like. Say another support that another category. Let's say military. And keep adding to your list and then do your uh, research analysis here using the quick filters or the filters feature. Or of course you can use a quick select. So now we got 112 items in here we can do some research with. Um, as you know, I showed you the quick filters real quick. You can do that. You can also see your filters. If you click the filters here, you can see all your filters and you can add them manually here. So let's say if you want to add a filter for uh, the list price to be greater than, I don't know, five bucks, you can add that. I'll add another one over here. And you can always see your filters. You can even save your filter file to a. To, um, to your computer, you can use it later on. So that's a cool little feature as well. You can open up your filter file and load it up into here. But I'll show that later. Um, actually, I'll show all that in other videos. So, anyways, I just want to concentrate this on the new features. And I think I just covered all the new features there. You've got the optional new affiliate ID. You've got the exporting the ASINs, a new interactive HTML file. I uh, also cleaned up the code in the back to make it work better with Amazon. So that was another thing I did. So. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next videos. Bye for now.